and we are the Y'all Show. Talk with a Southern accent. Great to have you on board. Yes, the Y'all Show is going to keep on going until further notice, no matter what the federal government says. And at this point, we have our barbecue barrister joining us this week. And Matt Herman's is kind enough to join us here on the Y'all Show. Matt, since we last spoke to you, which, golly, it's been like a thousand years ago. It was, oh, about a week ago you and I had a conversation here on the Y'all Show. And let's just kind of go back in time. Since last week, Matt Herman's, we've seen the cancellation, at least it looks like, of co- college baseball, which is one of the things we had you on here to talk about college baseball. Uh-huh. What do you think about that? Yeah, um, it's kind of, I guess the best way to sum it up is is the last time we talked, I felt like we were living in a different uh, different world there. So, um, yeah. yeah, disappointing for sure, but I think it's one of those, um, it's one of those things where, you know, the, the professional leagues start canceling and then everybody starts canceling and things start closing. And then, you know, the way our society works with, you know, 24-7 news chatter and social media, it, then it becomes, well, why do you want college kids to die? You know, it's like some, but something has to happen or else you want everybody to die. So then everybody has to has to close down. So I don't think it's necessarily a bad decision, but I uh, figured once, once the health and safety aspect got tossed in there, I figured uh, nobody wants to be the league that, uh, that encourages uh, – you know, killing its players. So, um, <laughs> you know, to, to be a little bit over the top. So, yeah, I'm not surprised. And, uh, but, you know, hopefully it does keep people from gathering and hopefully keeps, keeps the spread of the virus, uh, you know, down. And, uh, but yeah, we're no more college baseball for the rest of the year. It's a little bit surreal, I'd say. Now, that is not totally the case, Matt Hermans. That's probably going to be the case. But there are a few leagues out there who have not officially said that their year is done. They're going to make a decision a couple of weeks from now. Yeah, that's true. And I think the ACC is one of those. Mm -hmm. So um, it's probably a smart decision. I've I've heard, you know, both sides of it. Basically, if you cancel it for good, then nobody's going to be trying to get together to practice and, you know, try to get an edge and stuff like that. But, you know, it's like – you never really know this thing goes, what the lifeline time frame is going to be on it. I would imagine that I uh, probably don't see another baseball game the rest of the year. But tapping the brakes and saying, hey, maybe we can salvage a, you know, a, a couple of conference series or maybe even a conference tournament and do a do something else down the line. It's not a bad decision. Of course, if just two leagues play, then uh, <laughs> you got a pretty great ch- uh, chance of a national championship, don't you? So, Well, um, the, the different variables include – we know that Omaha has been canceled, so you can't have a so-called national championship here in 2020. Yeah, you'd have to have it, have it declared, you know, like the old AP days, right? Yeah. It so is happen. it better to have no season at all or give some leagues at least a chance to win a conference championship? I mean, I, you know, I love, I love the sport. Uh, so, and I think conference championships are extremely important, particularly because – you know, you go into the tournament, they can't take the conference championship away from you. I've always kind of felt that way. Uh, but, and, you know, it's really not dependent on playing. Once you hit, once you get past the non-conference schedule, it's really not dependent on anything else. You just enter conference play. So, you know, it's worth just as much as it would be in a, in a different season. But, yeah, I don't think, I don't think any of that's going to happen. I don't think any of the, you know, what do they, what do they call it? I try to avoid the news, honestly, but. Um, Social distancing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. SD, yeah, the old right. SD. Get, it'll get you every yeah. time. Yeah, yeah the, old S, the old SD, yeah. So, um, yeah, so I don't think that's going to – I wouldn't bet on that happening. But, uh, yeah. Well, we know that in addition to your role as our college baseball insider, and this is certainly something to be determined what happens with some of the leagues of college baseball going forward, you also are our barbecue barrister. We're going to have you weigh in on food and what to do during this whole coronavirus outbreak in our next segment, Matt Hermans. But we call you the barrister for a reason. You are a real-life barrister when you're not working here on the Y'all Show. So from a legal standpoint, is that why you're seeing a lot of this stuff happen, both the sports league shutting down and school shutting down and more? Well, I think there's two different reasons for that I, you know part of it i think is 
is legal. Sure, you don't want to incur any type of, um, you know, it's it's funny. Could you sue <laughs> sue somebody for a virus? Um, it's interesting. Uh, it's an interesting thought. You tell me, barrister, yeah. can you? Yeah, and well, I mean, you can you can literally file a lawsuit for anything. It doesn't mean it's going to go anywhere, but you literally can and, and allege negligence, especially if everybody else is doing it. So like I said before, it's kind of a momentum thing. Well, these leagues thought it was prudent to do this and you didn't. So you're, you're being negligent, blah, blah, blah. Sure. I'm sure that's out there somewhere. Um, and I think that's probably part of it. I think the other side is just, you know, the, um, the pressure of just social opinion and media coverage is, you know, not to get too philosophical, but it's it's more it's even more powerful than threat of litigation at this point in this country, I would say. So, um, like I said before, kind of jokingly, um, but not 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 really a joke. I mean, do you want do you want multiple media outlets and social media influencers starting to ask why the insert league here uh, doesn't care about its players' health and you know. Uh, you know, why does X sports league want to kill people with the coronavirus? Answer that question. It's that kind of stuff, you know, that gets rolling um, throughout society. And then, you know, social pressure is a huge deal. I mean, you can, it can ruin people and ruin leagues and ruin businesses and ruin everything. So I'd say part of it's legal and part of it is simply just kind of the, um, yeah, the kind of social credit system that we kind of have going with uh, with the way our society is set up. So, yeah, I don't want to get too deep and philosophical, but yeah, the legal <laughs> side sure is out there somewhere, right? We're talking to our phil philosophical expert, Matt Hermans, our baseball slash barbecue barrister, although right now I'm not sure how much barristering of baseball and barbecue you can actually do. The whole world, it looks like, shutting down. Yeah, I've got uh, some, you know, day job stuff that I'll be doing from home over the phone. And um, we'll see how that happens. Not everything's shut down. Um, there's a lot of, some courts have been shut down and across the country. And I'd say a lot of them have, but not all of them have. So, uh, but, but there is a, you know, the, the work from home, if possible, scenario is uh, probably a good thing uh at least in this scenario so that's what i'm going to be doing so i'm going to spend a lot of time at the house i think a lot of people are going to be spending a lot of time at the house not watching college baseball or the nba or anything else on, on sports wise so it's kind of a um kind of an interesting time in the um in the country history sort of right now i mean people a lot of the stuff you take for granted as far as entertainment venues are are not shut down so that gives you an opportunity to you know, kick it old school, if you want to put it that way, and try to uh, do some things that maybe folks would have done uh, prior to all this electronic um, entertainment, you know? Well, one of the things, Matt Hermans, that people could have done in the past and now because of the corona outbreak ought to be doing for sure is listening and watching The Y'all Show with John Rawl and our special gather insider. Yeah, yeah, gather, gather around the, the radio. Family. Exactly. Gather the family around your little wooden radio on the nightstand there and, uh, and enjoy, for little sure. fireside chat, thanks to our barbecue barrister, Matt Hermans. We've got to talk about that fireside chat. This this is an opportunity, perhaps. We've got to put a positive spin on it, y'all. This may be an opportunity for the whole world to kind of slow down, realize what's important. Let's try to keep our lives at the at the forefront of course but also value those who may have a problem with the coronavirus we're going to lose some people we know that but let's keep that number down as much as we possibly can but assuming we come out of this like we hope we do on the other side and this was this was definitely an inconvenience but not exactly the plague then we can all maybe have a little reset here and realize what's important and one of the things we try to do each and every day here on the Y'all Show is showcase how important this part of the country is, the South. And that's why we have our barbecue barrister, Matt Hermans on, and our college baseball barrister, whether college baseball is currently being played or not. Before we go to a break, I do have to ask you, based on what you've seen on social media, Matt, do you know if most of the college baseball teams have essentially disbanded? Are they still having some kind of informal practice going on while they're trying to figure out what's going on? No, no, there's no activities from what I can tell. Just, you know, kind of going by the recommendations of uh, staying out of groups. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, what is, uh, you know, what is a college baseball team but a big group? 
of mm-hmm. people, you know? So, um, yeah, I don't see anything happening during this time frame, And I don't think, I don't think any athletic directors or coaches are going to, going to try to do that at all, at least for now. So no. Okay. Our report on college baseball, a little sports news from Matt Hermans. We've got a whole nother segment coming up with Matt Hermans after the break. Make sure you stay tuned because when we come back, we're going to have him talk about grilling and what to do now that some of us are being quarantined. What can we do if you're going to be stuck in the house for 14 days from a eating standpoint? All that is coming up in our final segment of this Tuesday Y'all Show with John Rawl and Matt Hermans. <laughs> 